Hello again everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about containers. This is the like, last part of our interface. You can have many types of containers. I'll be talking about 3D containers in this video. The 3D containers have their own components. So uh, let's start. So for 3D containers, let's talk about the sub-containers. You can have even multiple containers. So I'll talk about this first since we have it in a box here. So let's reset this. So it's all contained in a box. This container is what makes it uh, always stay in a box. If I if I make it like if I remove the box, it will not work. It has to be it has to have a container in which you can contain, contain it in. Okay. So the ba the basic clock will go like this. But what if I wanted to like avoid a certain container instead of just points? I, we have we have already integrated this possibility, and it's uh, usually in meshes uh, because it's really fast and you can mesh anything. Like you can mesh any VRIPs, so it's very flexible. So we have this this component is called contain outside mesh. You just you have the agents never go inside 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 a mesh you want to. You can even use it on multiple meshes, but I'll be using it inside one mesh for this time. This sphere. It, this can be a BRIP in origin, but you can transform anything to a mesh, so uh, that's why it's very flexible. I give it a really big multiplier so it's uh, so you can see it. So let's start it. You we'll start seeing things now. So let's pause that. If I turn that off, you will see the place of the sphere. It's not here. So I'm, I'll make it more clear, much clearer. Like if I use my attractor curve, remember the attractor curve? And when I talked about self-organizing motion, so we'll do that right now. I will not turn off my turn on my circle, and you will see the circle forming inside of the agents. As you can see, they avoided the circle, and they go back to the points. And that that exactly is what self-organizing motion is. They start from a point and go to the closest point, but they avoid something in the middle. Now, uh, you can use any other thing, like um, you can use a grip or a mesh. So in my case, I just use a mesh here, this mesh, and the same star points we used in a box, which were the points of a certain box. And basically, all the behaviors that apply the same, everything will be the same. I'll just, I'm just showing you uh, one of the examples. I'll remove this. You can just have it in any 3D container working the, just the same as the did in the box. And just for preview, I'll just turn on only the edges. Okay, I didn't change the container. So here it is. Let me restart that. And there is a certain tolerance where it will go for back and forth on it. As you can see, here it is. It doesn't go past it. But I use the, this behavior. It goes start. It wants to go to the curve, so I'll cheat. I'll remove that. Okay, should be around, going around free, freely now. And that will be it for this video. Uh, it will go any anywhere you want to. Any any three D behavior here. Whether it's the box, the beard, the mesh, or the uh, Contain outside mesh is just like a repulsor, but uh, a very, like, uh, very accurate one. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.